My name is Tayo. I'm a Nigerian cartoonist. I was raised in Nigeria, schooled in America, and I've uh, been living in the UK for almost 30 years now. I'm drawing cartoons from an African perspective. Like Mandela would say, education is the most powerful weapon in which you can use to change the world. And I'm using my cartoons to educate, to inform, to entertain. And I grew up drawing cartoons in Nigeria. My parents would encourage me with comic books and I felt the need to want to draw. And that was how, how I was able to develop myself and go to school in America. And I was the first um, African um, student to go to the Cuba school in New Jersey to learn how to draw cartoons. I draw editorial cartoons and I also do educational cartoons as well. Educational cartoons are the ones on black history, which is called Our Roots. And that educates a lot because when I was at school in America, I found that the African Americans didn't know much about um, African history other than the history of the African Americans in, in America. Armed with that and knowing fully whether I was going back to Nigeria, I then came up with this visual to train, to educate about African, not just African American history, but African history in the diaspora. Education sells and education matters because when people are educated, they, they can better their lives, especially with children. And that's what I've been doing through the years in, in addition to my editorial cartoons and also teaching cartoon workshops in schools, in libraries. I don't like violent comic books. <laughs> and when I was growing up, I wanted to make a, a difference. I wanted to let the world know that you can do cartoons without, without violence in them because we don't want to encourage that in the world anyway. But I can do positive cartoons as well and talk about social issues, negative issues in the world there. Some of my influences uh, when I was growing up were, were people like um, Charles Schultz who drew Peanuts comics in Nigeria, the likes of Kenny Adams, Sane, Dotun Boyega, Moraku, Gutade, Adeboye, Benro. Of course, you know, Japiro is my good friend and um, I, I like his work a lot. So I've studied the works of other cartoonists around the world, appreciating other people's styles and techniques of drawing cartoons. If you look at me, the influences come from Nigeria, they come from Britain, and they come from America. And in that way, through that mixture of those influences, I'm able to actually arrive at my own styles and techniques of drawing cartoons. I must say that my mentor was also Jerry Robinson, the creator of the, the Joker, and he was able to get my drawings syndicated in America and the drawings on Black History Seat syndicated in America, which is called Our Roots. So he got me actually into America, having my work published around America. And there hasn't been any going back since then. And I, I, can, I can boast that I had my work published in DC Comics as well. My work is taking me all around the world, South Korea, Algeria, Egypt, maybe one day South Africa. Woohoo! <laughs> Love the, the works I've seen around the world. And I tend to come back to the UK to adapt some of those styles and techniques to my work as well. The origin of storytelling is from Africa anyway. And so Africa has lots of stories to tell. And that could be transformed into comic books to tell stories about Africa through graphic novels. I believe that there is hope for our cartoons in Nigeria. That it just has to evolve and move along with time. You need to now express yourselves digitally. You now, not, now need to take your work from the print media to the digital media in, whereby your work will be seen by many in the world. Digital comic art, digital art has been there, but it's now going to be very, very prominent. Good artist will also be a good businessman as well. Businessman and woman.